doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs and besties. Today we are going to DIY our own foodie mini brands. And maybe we can make some frozen moments as well. Let's bring out our silicone mat, only today we're gonna flip it over to the other side because sometimes the print ends up on my project. Let's add some hot glue to the mat. One, two, three. I'm counting, so hopefully I can get them all about the same size. Let them dry just a little, then fold over the edge of the mat, and I'm gonna place something on top and press down gently, but not too much. Carefully pull back the mat once you're sure it has cooled to make three little discs that are flat on top and curved on the sides. Repeat to make more. I take a piece of foam board and push a few sewing pins through the foam board. I carefully add the disc to the pins, then give them a cream base coat. Mix a golden brown. I glued a small piece of a sponge to a toothpick to make a little tool so I can lightly sponge the paint on top. And I'm working to make it look like there's a few rings in there to make pancakes. I painted both sides to make sure we had a little bit of coloring on both edges, but if you know you're going to stack them, you don't have to worry about adding all of the detail on the ones that will be on the inside. I made new printables for paper plates and cups for the two restaurants currently in our food court. Maybe they have a breakfast menu. I printed mine on cardstock so it's thicker and I only have to use one layer for my plates. So let's carefully cut them out. Then I place them over a stencil and carefully press down so we can mold the plate. I'm using an eraser to work it into those corners and give our plate a little indention. I have a plate with an image and a plate without. However, if I print it on computer paper, I would glue the two layers together to make them more stable and have a sturdier plate. Now we can place the pancakes on the plate for the dolls to enjoy. We can stack and glue them together or leave them single. I added coffee cups to the printables. All we have to do is cut them out, curl the paper. They're a little long, so I'm gonna trim them then glue the ends together. Glue it to a scrap of cardstock and fill with glue. Paint the top, add a clear top coat, cut off the excess paper to serve up some coffee with the pancakes. Let's take it a step further and cut a thin strip of cardstock, curl it, and cut a small piece to make a paper tube. Glue it together and allow it to dry. Take a small piece of cardstock and fold it in half. Cut a small triangle. Glue it on with a strip of paper in the back to make a handle. Glue it to leftover cardstock. Paint it. I'm using a gloss acrylic paint to help fill in the gaps. While waiting for that to dry, let's glue a few pancakes to the plate. Let's add some glue going down the sides for syrup. I cut a thin piece of plastic from packaging, glue it to the top, add glue going up the plastic, then glue the syrup pitcher to the top so it's suspended in air. Color clear plastic with a washable marker. I'm using brown, add a little Mod Podge, mix it up, then very carefully paint the glue with it. To make syrup, pouring onto pancakes, making our own Frozen Moment Mini. And I made a second syrup so we can look like we're about to pour the syrup and then we're pouring it. And that syrup is giving me an idea. Let's bring out our silicone mat and add some drippy looking glue. 
Before it completely dries, I'm gonna take a glue stick and place it under it. And then just kind of allow it to curl a little. And we can hold it till it dries. Or maybe it's better to just hold it in place. Then carefully peel it off. Then I made a few more just in case we need them. Cut a glue stick into a few smaller pieces. Then let's cut those pieces into cubes. I save my scraps. Let's cut out one of the cups, bend and glue it together. Glue it onto a scrap of cardstock. Then add our leftover pieces and more glue. Then allow it to dry. Then take the hot glue and glue it into the cup. We can cut and place them however we like. Then let's glue on those ice cubes. Make our marker and Mod Podge mixture. Paint everything except the ice brown. Then allow it to dry. While waiting, let's give this drink another try. I made a cup just like before. On this printable, we added a printed rim. Let's cut the rim off of another cup and glue it on so it's 3D. Let's cut a piece of a paper clip. Only this time, we're gonna leave some of the metal in it and trim off the excess. Fill the cup with glue. Add the straw metal side down. Cut two wedges from the glue stick and paint them green. Paint details. Cut the leftover glue into smaller pieces. Glue them into the cup. Mix a red marker and Mod Podge and paint the top. Glue on the lime with a little Mod Podge and let them dry. While waiting, let's bring out the silicone mat. Make two large drops of glue. Make that three. Then let's make a square of glue and fill it in. Then a wobbly leaf kind of shape. We want lots of texture in this one and we want to keep it pretty thin. Once cooled, take one of the drops and let's add glue to the other side. Then use the nozzle to add texture all over. Peel the other items from the mat, add them to our little drying rack, and paint a base coat. On the smooth drops, I'm using a cream brown on the texture dot, a golden yellow on the square, and green on our little leaf. Allow them to dry, then go back and start adding details, like a little browning on those light cream disc. We can dust this with a darker brown and a little black, then just touch up the other two. Make a plate. Let's take that leftover paper clip, straighten it out, wrap it with a thin strip of recycled paper. Then I cut a shorter piece and we're gonna wrap it and glue it in place. Then make a tiny little cone and glue it to the top of the paper. Paint it red. Our other items should be dry. We have two hamburger buns, cheese, a patty, and a piece of lettuce. Take one of the buns and glue it to the plate. Then add the lettuce, the patty, and the cheese. And I make sure to hold it down so everything kind of just molds together. I made a small hole in the center. I bend the paper clip just a little, then put the paper clip into the hole on the cheese. Let's add a little glue around the bottom, paint the glue red, add a gloss top coat to the ketchup, allow it to dry, then glue the other part of the bun onto the side or you can just let it sit. It's up to you. But now we have another Frozen Moment Mini. It looks like we're pouring ketchup onto a burger. Our drinks are now dry, so let's cut off the excess paper. For our second attempt at our Sonic-inspired drink, I think I did much better on this one than I did on the first one. And I had time to paint the little lime. 
our little splashing drink is inspired by another Frozen Moment Mini, and I think we did pretty good. I like the addition of the ice cubes. I may not know a lot about fast food, like how this doesn't go with this. <laughs> Oops. What can I say? I was going fast, but I think our little DIY looks pretty good. And most of it is made out of hot glue and paper. Thank you for joining us while we had fun making our own miniatures inspired by mini brands. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time.